I just want to add a little bit on top of the disclaimer from the tech demo that Platinum 5 made. This information was from Taco Fett Jr., another Beyond 5 YouTuber, who had the honor to speak with another developer, KitKat, a Platinum 5 game designer who helped invest time into making the quest system in the open world. This information was provided by TalkFit Jr.'s interview slash podcast video. Linked in the description, KitKat talks about how his vision for the quest system was for much more, but because of the game's limitation of the game engine, that limited KitKat's ambition for the quest and the characters. The reason why I want to bring this up as a topic is to emphasize to people that in the tech demo video, Administrator Nar, Disclaimer's message says that framework is a limitation on the game which makes it hard to add features and probably future content is harder to add. For example, KitKat wanted to add more for the logistics quest where he wanted more firefights and enemy encounters than us just driving trailers over to places. But he had hit a roadblock when his when Nar and whoever was on the programming team were trying to develop the game and add stuff to it. They were hitting roadblocks. And thus, the vision of the game was toned down due to game limitations from the engine. And KitKat also explains how most of the most fun quests that we have in the game is currently not really the most fun part because it was toned down from what KitKat envisioned and imagined it to be better. And so what his ideas and visions were from the beginning were toned down to what we have now and sometimes the developers might get lost in envisioning the bigger and better updates for the game. But sometimes they might forget how the game engine might limit them on what they could create and what they could do which causes the game updates to be pushed back and due to more reoccurring roadblocks that they might get they might try to work around it and try to push out the update but they keep probably hitting the roadblocks that keeps pushing it back the update and every double effort I'm not saying that they don't respect their own work but every developer no matter what game they make has pride in their own work and would rather put out a less buggy and smoother working game update but from the aspect of a community member I sympathize that everyone doesn't like delays and are bummed out and unhappy when that does happen but knowing the game engine is a limitation on what limits the vision of the game and ha having to tone down what you wanted so that it can be playable and works well but in the future I will now respect the developers who make the game and try to push it out but has to delay it to make sure that the game doesn't break or have any bugs that can change the outcome of the game and lastly we are all humans we need to understand there are limitations no matter how much you want to deny it we will always be limited by other factors outside of our control like game engines unity roblox valve source and other game engines like unreal engine all have a limitation somewhere somehow that forces us to accept it and find another way around the problem no matter how much you do there there will always be 
some sort of a limitation. I want to bring this information to light a little more than little more because of Nar himself even putting a message saying that the framework's game engine is a limitation they have and are working on a rework for a few things currently from scratch to open the possibility of a bigger vision that they used to have for things like Kika had and be able to maybe possibly work in more things that KitKat can envision and actually being capable of and updates closer to like their expectation of a good update rather than what they are limited now they could work on it and then in the future their expectations of a good game is actually higher than what they're being limited so they can always push out a higher quality game and then the last thing is thank you to Taco Fett Jr. for his amazing, informative interview with KitKat and granting us the new information on the game that we might have never gotten if he never had an interview with KitKat. And because of it, we have the information that some of us probably want to know and are probably hoping that we can figure out it before the update comes out or any update that matter and this is the end of the video and thank you for watching